Mimi ano mi jejam. This is your brother. YK. Today is 25th of March 2017. Time check is 2:51. Yeah, only in the UK at time you push your cone. That you are yet your own higher the power. The bend. So time check now is 1.52 in Ghana p.m. America was a CIA demanding five hours to be a This is your brother YK. It's a very sunny Sunday afternoon in the UK. At least from where I am. You can see my ears. This is a baby so Anyway, my sister Oti Kujaba. Have I had no husband? Who's that? But we deal with T. Bruta. There is a very interesting discussion going on about this issue on my Facebook wall. And I can tell for a fact that a very many people who support her for the statement she made are not looking at empirical evidence out there. You see, when we talk about such issues, it's about rape. What is the psychology of the rapist? Has it got anything to do with the dress that a woman is wearing? And the point I've been making on this argument is that the empirical evidence suggests otherwise. That is being very objective. People should cut out the subjectivity of the issue. Being subjective is mad with emotions, things that you cannot defend. They are not factual. So let's do a very basic analysis here. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's a good one. Where is your brother, YK? Maybe it's a bit controversial. Yeah, that you can crazy or controversial. <laughs> when people have not heard of me before, they create all sorts of impression. But once they speak to me, they say, "Oh, so now you're yeah, very nice. What can I do, Maza?" My writing speak for itself. I have very strong convictions about a lot of things, and I defend it logically. Now let's cut the chase on this. Madame Otiko Jabba needs to do a little bit more research before she comes out to say something because she's a leader. In the first place, when you tell young people that because they weren't short dresses, they attract rapists, you are giving the rapists the reason for raping. That is not the reason why people rape. Once again, the empirical evidence suggests otherwise. And I heard some weird argument people making that we are talking about Ghana. Because, uh, rapists in America, rapists in Saudi Arabia, rapists in UK, rapists in Guatemala, Saudi Arabia, rapists in wherever. They are bloody the same. 
They think alike. There is no difference. So let's look at the statistics. The empirical evidence of rape cases around the globe. A rapist is a bloody rapist. No matter which corner of the globe that they are found, they have the same psychological problem. So, now, so, so what is the empirical evidence? Adiciona Yesiano, a denetre. You cannot make blanket statements, objective statements about rip when you don't have the empirical evidence. This is your brother YK. Doing my own thing. Now, what does the empirical evidence say? Yeah, Minya, so what does the empirical evidence say? I'll go straight to the point. The empirical evidence suggests that globally, world the highest number of rape cases are found in country societies where women are covered fully listen once again let me repeat repeat and call the highest number of rape cases globally are found in countries in societies where women are covered completely you cannot see anything apart from the face so minia if you are getting a lot of a lot of rape cases if you are having a lot of rape cases in countries and societies where women are covered completely what is this Ula Balu about wearing short dresses uh, attract rapists. Scientifically, it's not accurate. You can talk from your emotions, that's fine. But there's no scientific evidence to that. On the contrary, where you have a lot of rape cases are countries where women are covered completely. So this brings us to the point to be very circumspective and as a, you have to look at the facts of the matter. So what makes a person, what makes a rapist think? What strikes? What makes the what what makes the man feel like he wants to rip? Obviously, it has nothing to do with the grace that the woman is wearing. So the fact that you have rapists in Ghana and a lot of young people wear short dresses. Doesn't mean that is what attracted the rapists to do what they do best. They are sickening, they are sickening activity. Because their brothers elsewhere called rapists, they also strike when the woman is fully dressed. And they even strike more inside societies so there is no evidence that when our young girls are fully dressed 
we get rid of rapists, we cannot get rid of them that way. It's a psychological problem. That is the basic scientific understanding of the research. So let's stop talking from emotions. Subjective comments. We need to be very objective with our commentary. Then we'll be educating ourselves based on evidence, facts, data, raw empirical evidence. But another issue that comes up is what happens to our beaches? You go to our beaches, aha. You can see there are a lot of people almost naked. A lot of young people almost naked. Are we going to suggest dress code for our beaches? It ain't gonna happen. So we need to be careful when we say these things. It doesn't work that way. People are half naked in our beaches. What do you say to that? Otigo Java, you're going to have issues with Minister for Tourism. On a more serious note, we need to go by the data. We need to. We need to find out the psychology of raping. How do these people think? It's just like looking at a psychopath. And you rather not study the reason why we have these people. But you think it's the fault of the victim. Don't make the victim the target of the social menace. The problem is the rapist. What goes on in their head? It's got nothing to do with the dress that the person is wearing. I'm talking from a purely scientific view, empirical evidence. Because the highest number of rape cases, I'll conclude on this, are found in societies where women are fully covered fully covered so wearing short dresses doesn't entice rapists to rip you can wear a full dress and you still be ripped the problem is the rapist Not a victim. Many anime the man we see anime. This is your brother's usual. Why can't doing my own thing? Finally, our country Ghana would wake again. Ghana will surely wake again. Oh, Bakra. Politicians don't chew on my time. Politicians don't chew on my time. Ghana, I beg you. Yes, your man said. Ghana is going to work. And we will make sure Ghana works. God bless our homeland, Ghana. And make our nation greater and stronger. I pray, Ghana. All its citizens, 
believe in themselves because Ghana will work again. God bless us all. Have a blessed week.